Welcome back. We're in the A320 Neo by Fly By Wire. We're going to be going from Detroit to Salt Lake City. Airtime about 3 hours and 30 minutes. Cruising altitude of 38,000 feet. We now have GSX. That is why everything looks so good and that's why my frames have dropped even more. We are going to go ahead and request our uh, GPU so we can get this aircraft started. I can hear him out there. Ground power was just connected. We're gonna turn batteries one and two on. We're gonna align our Adris is one, two, and three. Fuel pumps are gonna kick on right around now. All six. Strobes are gonna go on auto. Nav and logos are going on. Seat belts we gotta keep off until we get fueled. No smokings are on auto, and we're gonna arm our emergency lights. We need to call for a fuel truck to come fill us up since we do not have enough fuel yet. We're going to get some stuff set up. We did get a PDC. Squawk 0767. Clear the kale and three departure. Smoke transition. Climb via the SID. Expect flight level 380. 10 minutes after departure. Frequency is 119.875. We're planning 22 left. SID speeds apply and we'll contact 119.875 for taxi. Altimeter is showing 2999er. So we'll set that real quick. At Sue AOC. Initialization and we'll get data request that come on there you go took a hot second detroit departure two two left kaylin three departure smove transition and we'll insert that i'm going to check the charts real quick after departure on two two left we are going to turn right two three nine until we get to sam's and then we just follow it all the way to smove They're going to fuel us up, so we'll wait on that. Arrival, 3-4 left. Nordic 6, Frank Frankie Union, Ox. There it is. And we'll insert that. They are now fueling us. Your pins are good. Fuel quantity is set, and they're fueling seatbelts. We'll just shove them on. Who cares? Adris has been set, and barometer. We're going to go ahead and ask them to connect the jetway. Fuel prediction, we are going to go to our block fuel is going to be 240, 24.0. We're going to let the fuel truck get out of here and then we will start boarding. VORs are going to go on. Constraints are going on. We're scheduled for 162 passengers with 7,128 pounds of cargo. So a little bit heftier on the cargo, but that is okay. So we will go ahead and start boarding now. We have a wind component of minus 36. We're going to do minus 36. All of our numbers are actually just going to be the same. So 142 for everything. 142, 142, 142. Perfect. And flaps one. Zero, seven, six, seven. PWS on. Multi scans on. GCS is on. We're going to start up the APU. Boarding has completed. They're just working on baggage and catering services. Catering trucks running behind, so that's great. APU is available. Bleed is coming on. Turn external power off, and we will tell them that they are good to go. You can hear them push the carts on. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the jetway now. The catering truck is disconnecting, so we're going to go ahead and throw on our beacons. Parking brake is as required. Takeoff speeds have been set. Windows are closed and beacon is on. We're going to request our pushback. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. We're going to set our trim. It is just under one down. Anti-ice is as required. Ecam's good. Trim is good. And rudder trim is neutral. That checklist is complete. We're going to check our ailerons left. Ailerons right. Elevator up. And elevator down. And then our rudders left and right. Flight controls are good. Flaps have been configured. Those are on. Engine mode selection is good. They are good. These lights are going to go to uh, runway turn off. Nose light is going to taxi. And we're going to turn these lights just off, but not on. Auto brakes got to go on max. We're going to check the cabin. They're good, and we'll do a takeoff config GPS test. 50, no blue, and the cabin's ready. So we'll go ahead and request a taxi here shortly. Cleveland Center, Delta 8147 with information. Foxtrot, we are ready for taxi to 22 left. Delta 8147, proceed northbound through the alley at your own risk. Then runway 22 left, taxi via. 
Bravo, Kilo, Yankee 10, cross runway 27 right. Go through the alley at our discretion then. Bravo, Kilo, Yankee 10, cross 27 right. 8147. Our front light's going to go into takeoff now. Delta 8147, Arnav, Sams, runway 22 left, clear for takeoff, Detroit wind, 160 left five. Here for takeoff, 22 left, 8147. Here are those views in the background. I just had so the um, aircraft do its own APU test and engine fire test, make sure we were good. But we are out of here. We'll just do a rolling takeoff for convenience here. Clear we're going to look for GT, consistent VOR, 50. Echo, Tango, Golf. I'll just call it uh, clear to Echo, Tango, Golf, uh, Delta 20, 50's consistent, nothing to worry about. Toga. Having some frame issues, obviously, with GSX. Brickyard 4558, contact Toronto Center, 125.77. Get me up there. There we are, speed's hit, and rotate. Juliet 2327, you've left the Cleveland Class Bravo airspace. Your ATC services are terminated, squawk BFR, frequency change. All right, gear's coming up. Flaps are being retracted. Pilot not working. We are now going to turn this right. We're going to direct SAMs. We're also going to push down just a little bit. Direct SAMs. Put that in there. Good. Autopilot is now working. We'll put the lever into climb. Perfect. Everything is good so far and we are now on our way. We're going to zoom out here. Terrain's gonna come off. 2,500. Thank you. Are we decreasing? No, oh, we're not. Alright, we're good. We're good. Oh, lever climb. Am I not in climb? There we go. So we gotta hit Sam's and then we'll take a right. While we're here, landing lights are gonna come off. Runway turn off off. And the nose light's coming off. These are going to go back to auto. Everything's good. Perfect. As for now, we're going to crank this up. 47 radar, contact, climb, and maintain level 380. Clear direct, smooth. Climb, well, maintain, flight level 380, and we are clear, direct, smooth. 8147. All right, so we are going to go ahead now and direct to smooth. Bang. Direct. Going to go there. And then we are up to 380. Oh, good. Perfect. And we are now set. We have now reached our cruising altitude. Seat belts are going to come off now. I'll give you about two hours and 15 minutes of cruise time. As for now, we're gonna sit back and watch the sun go down. I'm gonna go steal some snacks from the crew and their nice little carts. And I'll get back with you when the top of descent has been reached. <laughs> Alright, we're really having some issues here, so we're going to decel. This is going to go to 7-8. We're going to throw that on. We're going to let it catch up on speed while we descend a little. Now we're going to slightly push up. Are we getting stalls or overspeeds? 
Come on, work for me. Holy <laughs> Come on, work for me. Try. All right. Three seven three eight zero. Oh my gosh. What the f just happened? I think I accidentally hit my autopilot off while I was chilling. That's the only downfall of this flight stick I'm using. The autopilot comes off super easily. I guess I had my headphones off. Or I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. I'm curious what that flight route now looks like. We actually just got an email. We have an offer from Spirit Airlines. So we will definitely look into that. We are back after about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Um... Yeah, that um, little incident in the middle, we're not going to worry about. We already got a call from Delta. They said that as soon as we get on the ground, we have a phone number to copy and that our contract is terminated. But on the bright side, we did get an email from Spirit Airlines saying that they have a contract waiting for us. So you know what? You win some, you lose some. We're going to start our descent. Um, there's no ATC online, unfortunately. But on the charts, there is not really too many things uh, concerning altitude. Really, the only restriction that's actually set is um, set. Sam, Echo, Tango, Tango, Tango. You have to be at 15,000. We're going to descend to 240. Hopefully, we hit that by Cade. We're going to turn our seatbelts on and we will initiate that descent. We're just going to go ahead and descend to 21,000. Barometer is good. Seatbelts are on. Minimums are checked. We're going to descend down to 19,000. Direct. Carter. There we go. That is now going to direct us there. Where we decel, where we will decel to 260 by the time we get there. While you weren't looking earlier, I did put in all the approach information that we're gonna need. We got a VAP of 132 today, so I think 135 is what I'm actually gonna put it at. I don't feel comfortable putting it at the actual VAP because um, I don't like stalling. I don't like falling out of the sky like I just got shot. So I always go a little bit above, and then at the end I can just um, pull the throttle a little bit early, and that'll get us down nice, slowly, and safely. We will decel to 260 now. We are now going to descend down to 15,000. While we're here, I am going to bring something up. Have you guys ever had the Biscoff cookies from Delta? There are two people in this world. People that love the Biscoff cookies and people that are liars. They are the best thing ever. I don't want to hear any debate on it. They are so good. Now that we've hit 15,000, I'm going to decel to about 230 knots. I think that's appropriate. We are now going to descend down to 11,000. Delta 8147, we are now downwind for runway 34 left. We're just going to set our auto brakes to low. Good. And our engine mode selection we have as required. Perfect. By putter, we need to be 10,000. So we might as well just decel to it right now. So we can just be there and not worry about it. Through 10,000, um, the landing lights are going to come on. We'll go ahead and throw our landing systems on. Now that we're here, we're going to decel to around 210. Right before we make our turn, we're going to put our nose light on to take off and the runway turnoff light on. As we turn base to final for our landing, we'll decel to 180. Flaps 1 is going to go down. I think we're just going to direct putter and see what happens. So we're going to click direct. It should, yep, start taking us pretty quick. We're going to decel down to 180 while we are doing this turn. Actually, we'll do 175. Over here, flaps 2 is going to go down. Down to 9,000. Delta 8147, we have now turned final for runway 34 left. Flaps 3. We're going to decel to 165. We are now going to go down to 8,000 down to 6,100 full flaps. Delta 8147, we are 10 mile final, 4, 3, 4 left. Landing gear is going to go down. We are going to arm our spoilers. Perfect, and we will check the cabin. With that call, everything is good. Ecam is no blue, and the cabin is ready. Landing system showing a bit better. We're going to go 610. And we'll decel to 135. Delta 8147. 10 mile final. 3 4 left. Down to 135. Oh, I guess we got to check the cabin again. All right, perfect. All good. Looks like everything is good for our landing. I don't know. Do we want to throw on approach mode or should we just full on send it in only using um, <clears throat> our landing system assistance? But we'll f actually fly it. 
we want comfort or do we want thrill? At Delta, we want comfort. But after I just lost my contract, we want thrill. But we're not going to worry about it too much. So as soon as we hit this final um, part, we will throw autopilot off. Coming up to flag right now. Put this to 10 over here. And we are past. Delta 147, 5 mile final, 3 4 left. Autopilot coming off. We are going to slowly descend this aircraft. This really shows if I'm a good pilot or not, and I think we all know the answer to that based on some of the last videos. All right, and a little too far up. That should help. A little more right. Lane's good though so far. A little left wouldn't hurt. I'm fine with how the landing system as we are. I'd rather be a little low. Good. A little too far right. We're going to crank it just a little bit. Everything looks good. I like having the bottom of that diamond hit the yellow. We are a little too right. We're going to spring it over kind of quickly here. 8147 coming in to land. 3 4 left. About 30 seconds. All right. Over. Gonna have us lined up. Those are some very bright lights that I'm looking at, that's for sure. One thirty three to help us. Five hundred. Five hundred. Well, a little more. Four hundred. Four hundred. Now we're gonna go right. You know, a little more left. Feels like we're flying in here. 300. 300. 200. Looking great. Let's pull up now. If I don't hit anything. 100. Deal. Here we are. 50. 40. 30. 20. Retard. 5. Oh, I classifying that as butter. That was a beautiful flare to save that. Everything's looking good. Spoilers are all the way. Reverse thrusters are on. And auto brakes doing its job. Perfect. Go away. We're going to pull up our airport charts while we're braking. And we will vacate here shortly. Doing good. I think we'll get off at Alpha 7 if available. It is. And we're going to take this high speed exit here on the right. Auto brakes are going to come off, and we're going to put this back into this idle, and we will vacate onto, oh, <laughs> and we will vacate onto Alpha 7. Delta 147, we have vacated 3-4 left via Alpha 7. Perfect, and we will go ahead and stop the aircraft right up here. We'll go past this so we don't block any aircraft that could be incoming. Alright, and we will stop here for now. You know what? 308 feet per minute. Came in a little hot for what I'd like, but that's okay. But everything on this um, landing rate looks pretty good to me. So we're going to exit out. And we're going to set parking brake. While we do that, the spoilers are going to come up. And we're going to put this into flaps one. The landing lights are coming off. And the nose is going into taxi. <laughs> Left. Okay, so we got an air marshaler here that's going to help us out. Oh, they want a straight. 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 I'm trying to go slow so I don't, like, kill someone. 
You want me going, dude? Yeah, I think we're gonna call it good there. We're gonna set parking brake. All right, now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and turn APU bleed on, and the engines are going to come off. Flaps are gonna go to zero. We're gonna reset that uh, rudder trim as well while we're here. Parking brake's been set, engines are off. Wing lights have been off. Fuel pumps. Let's make sure the engines go off all the way first. Perfect. Fuel pumps are going to come off. And then the yellow electrical pump. What? Oh, okay. Yellow electrical pump. Off. Huh. I did not know that. You learn something new every day. And we'll mark that as complete. As for now, the engines are off. The APU bleed is on. And we can now request some ground services. All right. And the passengers are now deboarding. So we'll start working on other stuff here. As for now, that is going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching, especially the sport on the last two videos. It's pretty rough to come in and just dry drop two videos after not uploading for around a year. So thank you for the support on those. Um, I'm looking to keep this going for a while, even while I'm up in college playing baseball. But if you got any questions, requests, anything for me, if you want to see me try and be ATC on a game, there is a game I think it's called Tower Simulator 3 that looks really cool. If you want to see that let me know if you got any requests any recommendations any feedback leave it in the comments especially let's uh rate that landing that'd be really cool i'm curious what you guys think about that other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one see you later